Okay guys, for today's craft, you need a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper. This is from the back of a cereal box. I just cut it out. Paper towel or toilet paper tubes, scissors, glue, and paint. As many colors of paint that you have separated with by warm and cool colors. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so on this piece of cardboard, we're gonna paint some circles and we're gonna use all the colors of paint that you have in rainbow order. If you don't have all the colors of the paint but you have red, yellow, and blue, you are in business because those are the primary colors and mix to make every other color of the rainbow. So I'm gonna start Roy G. Biv order and I'm gonna start with my red and I'm gonna make a circle. From there, I'm gonna add some yellow and I'm gonna keep painting red, orange, yellow, and I'm gonna go out into green, blue, and purple. Now that I've painted on my paper, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. While this is drying, I've got another task to do. Gather up a paper towel tubes or some toilet paper tubes, whatever you have that's a circular shape and made of cardboard. You're gonna cut this into strips. Be careful with your scissors and make sure your other hand is out of the way. And try to keep them kind of consistent. If you want, you can use a pen to mark the sizes. Now that you've got some paper towel tubes cut out, get your white glue ready. Once your background dries, you can be ready to get some glue. If you have a plate, it's helpful to put some white glue on a plate. That way you can dip doesn't need a whole lot. So now that I've got some white glue on a plate, I'm gonna spread it around so that it's a nice, even layer. And I know I can dip these guys in. So you have your paper towel tube cut up and you can either keep them in a circle or you can bend the edges so that it's a petal shape. So we're gonna use both shapes today. You're gonna to start in the middle of your warm colors. That's the ones that make you feel warm inside. Red, orange, or yellow. They can remind you of fire or the sun or summertime. That's how we know they're warm colors. You're going to dip in the glue so that there's glue on one side and start in the middle of your warm colors. Then you're gonna build your flower with the pointed paper towel tubes. And you're gonna go all around the outside of this circle. So a tip that I learned while I was making mine is that if you cut these thinner, then you kind of have more to work with. This right here is about three paper towel tubes and a toilet paper tube, but if you cut these skinnier, it'll go a little bit further, and that's probably my suggestion. If you also wanted to, you could paint the tops of these um, white if you wanted to. Um, it's up to you. I have a little bit of red here. I'll just show you that. You can just put it on your finger and delicately outline it and it will color in whatever color you want. It's kind of hard to color in the middle of these, but if you really wanted to before you glue them down, you could paint your toilet paper roll. You could paint it white if you wanted to. I like the natural look, but it's all up to you. Let this dry really thoroughly. Make sure everything's pressed down. And there you go. You have a beautiful masterpiece and it's three dimensional, which is kind of cool. Have fun.